This video will cover the electric pulp test. Following an extraoral and intraoral exam, the electric pulp test may be performed as part of a thorough round of testing on selected teeth. Our other modules cover percussion, probing, palpation, mobility, the bite test, and the cold test, all of which are useful in reaching an endodontic diagnosis. The electric pulp test is a helpful test to assess pulp's health and vitality. For the electric pulp test, you will need an electric pulp tester, regular toothpaste, gauze, or a cotton roll. Before you begin, select which teeth you will be testing. It is helpful to test three to four teeth at a time, a tooth on the opposite side of the mouth from the symptomatic side or tooth, a tooth on either side of the tooth of interest, a tooth opposing the tooth of interest, and the tooth of interest itself. Every situation is different, so you will need to adjust your selection based on your patient's symptoms and natural dentition. Ideally, try to select control teeth that have similar anatomy or restoration to the tooth of interest. Give each tooth a number and ask your patient to compare tooth number one, two, and three at the conclusion of the test. It is recommended to end with the tooth of interest in case there is any lingering discomfort. As a note, Previously treated teeth or teeth with crowns will not have a response to the electric pulp test. It is not recommended to use these as your control teeth. Explain the procedure to your patient. Their participation is necessary for accurate interpretation of results. For example, you might say, I'm performing a test with this special probe on a few of your teeth now. You may eventually feel a tingling sensation on that tooth. When you feel that sensation, I want you to raise your hand. As soon as I remove the tester, the sensation will go away. Do you have any questions? As a note, some electric pulp testers may require the patient to hold on to part of the device. Be aware of how your electric pulp tester functions and explain to the patient what they must do for the test to be successful. If the grounding component hangs from the lip of the patient, explain this to the patient beforehand that the cold metal piece you are hanging is part of how the test works and will not be bothersome. Dry the patient's teeth using gauze or a cotton roll. Do not spray the teeth using an air syringe as that may cause sensitivity. Place a small amount of toothpaste or fluoride gel to act as a conductor onto the tip of the electrode. Then place the tip of the electrode against the buccal or facial surface of the tooth you are testing. If your patient has a response to the electric current and raises their hand, remove the electrode immediately. This is a positive response and indicates that the pulp is responsive and most likely vital. Record the results in a record-keeping table. Notably, certain electric pulp tests have an increasing number on their screen. A positive response at a high number could indicate a false positive test, so it is important to compare the response to control teeth. If your patient has no response to the electric current, remove the electrode. This is a negative response and indicates that the pulp is most likely necrotic. Record the results in a record-keeping table. Repeat this test until all of the control teeth and the tooth of interest have been tested. You should replace the toothpaste or fluoride gel onto the tip of the electrode prior to testing each tooth. At the end, remove any excess toothpaste or fluoride gel from the teeth. Thanks for learning with us. Please be sure to watch the other videos in our endodontic diagnosis series on mydentalkey.com.